Hey YouTube, welcome to spider mite season. The summer months are the perfect climate for spider mites to thrive and multiply. We're gonna now take a look at this Neanthabella palm that we honestly have been a little lax with applying the neem weekly, which we're supposed to as a preventative. So we're gonna take a look at what the spider mite infestation looks like now. Those little bleached areas are what we are looking for. Those are the earliest stages. But if we look over here, this is a much more progressed bleaching and spider mite infestation. The little dots are the spider mite bite marks that are left behind. So this is the trace we're looking for. This is one of the oldest leaves, so they've been feasting on this. And on the bottom sides, you can see all the eggs and even the spider mites themselves as those little white dots. They're very hard to see. So our mistake here was to not actively apply neem oil once per week. And you should spray the tops and bottom sides of your susceptible plants with a neem spray that contains azadiractin once per week just as a preventative and do it in the hot summer spring months. It's pretty simple, just spray the bottom sides and top sides of your plant, but definitely get the bottom sides because that's where the spider mite eggs and the adults hang out. And if the infestation on the leaf is too great and you see any sort of webbing and even just a lot of bite marks, it's fine to take off that leaf and that might be the best method for severe infestations. And again, those little white marks are what we're looking for at the bottoms of the leaves. And it can be seen on the top sides as bleaching. So that's really it. Keep up with your neem spray on your palms. This is a Neanthabella palm, your Colotheas, anything in the Maranta ACA family, your IVs, things of that nature. Just keep up to date with your neem and you will keep the spider mites at bay. But it's really species dependent. Some plants will get them like this palm, but something like a pothos will almost never get spider mites. Thank you for watching today. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please click the thumbs up down below. It does help us out. And if you wanna come back for new videos every Saturday, click the subscribe button down below. Thank you for watching.